Good morning. Welcome back to the scuttle. But so I know I, I keep saying I want to do this a little more often, but yet uh, we still don't have fiber internet. So and until that happens, I'm probably just doing you know two or three of these a week, if if that. You know, our, our biggest priority obviously is the main channel. We're still trying to you know do the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the live on Sundays. Obviously, last Sunday we were helping out the community, so we did not do our live, but we joined in on theirs. You know, so, yes, the Black Sheep Project will now be doing their lives every Sunday, right after ours. So we're going to make sure that we promote them. And definitely get over there, check them out. If you're new to our channel here, we definitely thank you for joining in. So what's going on? We're over here, actually, this is where we're doing our home. So this is actually the gathering house, what we call it. And it's just going to be a home where, well, eventually it's going to be a building to where everybody can get together right friends family it's just a place to to gather right to be able to have dinners uh, to be able to get out of the elements if it's raining uh, type thing uh, this is also going to allow us to get out of the rv right because so we're still full-time rving it so that's getting you guys caught up if you're new here we definitely thank y'all so right now we're still doing cleanup you see i got some logs and stuff behind me and those logs are just a little too heavy for my little tractor that does does not want to do <laughs> that heavy of work even though it's four-wheel drive because i just got a little kubota b7100 and it's not very strong so i can always get over here and, and pull these out with the jeep but we've been needing help you know with dirt work just be able to pull box blade around and stuff because this land over here it slopes in that direction right and just be able to to get this kind of evened out and such kind of get some some dirt from this area over here right and we have like another little stump right here to try to pull out but just trying to bring some of this dirt and and drag it all this way right so uh, as of right now, I'm actually still waiting on uh, Wiley from working with Wiley uh, to bring my box blade back. <laughs> uh, he was borrowing it because he came over here, right? He was helping us out. It's greatly appreciated. And I, I know it's just super busy with a lot of stuff that he's got going on. Uh, he's also been looking for another job. So, you know, just trying to get some folks over here that have the equipment you know, it's been uh, kind of on the difficult side. And and I, I understand, right? I, I I get it. You know, you you got projects going on. You know, you're having to take care of your number one priority is your own family, right? Just like here. My number one priority is my own family. I'm going to take care of that first and then go help out other folks, right? But if there's something going on here that, just doesn't need to be handled right away then by all means i'm gonna go out and help the community and you guys have seen that right uh, i'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing is you you see for if you're following everybody within this local community uh here you, you're gonna see who helps who but just know too that a lot of times if you're not seeing someone at like a get together or like a little party or you know maybe it's a working party type thing well if we're not there we didn't get the invite i'm just gonna say that so uh for for whatever reasons if we don't get reached out to to say hey this is what's going on then we don't know about it so that's why we're not there all right <clears throat> but I have some work that needs to be done and I needed a tractor. So actually I had reached out to Brett. That's who we had borrowed the wood chipper from. And cause he had offered, you know, previously saying, Hey, if you ever need to use my tractor, then come grab it. So 
went over there and, and grabbed the old Ford and got it cleaned up, fired up. So we're going to get it put to work. And the only thing is, I need my box blade back. So uh, right now, if, if for whatever reason, because uh, I know there, there's some stuff going on uh, over there uh, with Jen Wiley that he, he's actually probably going to be getting a, a job type thing because he, he's been working a lot more. And you guys have heard it over there, too, you know, that he hasn't been able to work on some of the projects on their property because, you know, he's been working, driving truck and, and doing stuff, dump trucks. And that's good, right? Be able to, to take care of the family, feed the family. That's a good thing. And, but I, I can't sit around waiting, right? I can't sit around waiting forever because like I said, I gotta be able to take care of my family. And to do that, I need to build a house pad. So uh, with that being said, I went and borrowed the, the tractor. Uh, if, if needed, I'll, I'll go get the box blade myself. You know, it's perfectly fine with having to go do that if needed. And we'll get to work. We're gonna start dragging some dirt around here. And one, once I've got some some dirt and starting to get this over here leveled out, then we're gonna start bringing in materials. You know, start bringing in some of the the shell and stuff, and and getting this going right. And then obviously we have some other projects. So there's things I'm gonna be working on today that's gonna to be over on the main channel. Um, I do have a few. Um, products that we're going to be doing some reviews on, right? Th those are actually going to be a, a full dedicated video. It, it's not going to be integrated into a video. So uh, look forward to some of those coming out. Um, which right now the dedicated reviews is just two. I have two, uh, one's going to be coming out here probably in about a week, it, give or take, and then the next one will be coming out actually next month, um, which we, we already have the product. I just, they, they said to, to go ahead, use it, you know, see, see how you like it. And then, you know, give like the, a full, good, honest review on it. So I said, okay, so that, that's what we're doing. We're, we're getting everything and it's something that needs to be installed, right? So we're doing that and we're going to utilize it and then we're going to review it. So just look forward to that, you know, by uh, probably next month because we actually have till December. But I, I would like to get that out to y'all, you know, before like Black Friday type thing, right? Because it's, it's definitely something I think, uh, especially, you know, if you're in our same situation, that it'd be a very good product, you know, for you guys to check out. Just know that that is coming. And I would like to get it to you guys, you know, before or get, get the links and all that to you guys before, you know, Christmas time. Right. Cause I think it's a very good product to be able to check out. So, and get, get those black Friday sales. Right. So try to do that before Thanksgiving, but I think today I, I need to go get some fuel, get some old Petro. So um, this tractor uses the non-ethanol gas. I don't currently have any of that uh, on hand. So I'm gonna go grab some non-ethanol gas. And then, I mean, it, it can run off ethanol. He just prefers not to. So, and I understand, right? Cause when this tractor was made, they didn't have all that stuff. It was unleaded or leaded, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and go get some of the non-ethanol gas and then get that put in here. Uh, I've already went through and, and cleared out some of the filters and, and did a little bit of cleaning and such, getting it going, getting it ready. So I just need a, a little bit of tweaking and it's good to go. Got it all greased up and all the, the fluids and stuff checked. All the It was a little low on oil, so I went ahead and, and added some oil to it. And it's good to go. It's it's ready to work as soon as I get some fuel, right? And uh, there's something that I'm also going to be doing uh, over on the main channel. And if you're subscribed here and to our main channel, we definitely thank you all. But if you take a look, you might see I have a little buddy of mine 
that's going to be riding around with me on the tractor. And probably sometime soon, I'm going to be announcing that we're going to be doing some videos coming up. You know, because this is going to be kind of like for Christmas type thing, right? So I, I might do it for like the entire month of November. But I'm going to be utilizing, because I, I have a few of those. That's like one of my little favorite characters, Woodstock from uh, uh, Charlie Brown, right? From the Peanuts cartoon. So Woodstock has always been like one of my favorites. Um, yeah, I like Snoopy, but you know, Snoopy, I think is kind of overrated. I like Woodstock better. So, um, I'm going to have that, that little character, you know, just kind of floating around in the video, uh, one or two times. Some of them might be, you know, you, you might see it very clearly. And then other times it might be hidden kind of off in the background. Um, but still it's where you can see it. And I, I'm going to put in multiple videos but for the entire month of november right you're gonna have to see how many times you've seen woodstock and then for the entire month right and whatever i get that number right whoever can give me that number for, and we'll put out the video right you know towards the end of the month say hey, okay this is what I want you to do. And if whoever can guess the closest, or even if you get the, the, the answer correct, um, which I, I don't think I'm going to do the closest. I, I want the correct number. And the first person that would give me the correct number of how many times I've seen Woodstock is going to get a, a, a present from us for Christmas. So... Uh, that's to be announced at a later date. It could be something from the blacksmith shop. It could be something from our bonfire store. Um, I do not know. It could even be a combination of both. I don't know yet. But that's something that we will work out. But that's what we're going to be doing, right? So a little Christmas present for y'all. And, and it's like a little game, right? A little game that you got to do. So no, it's not a lottery. It's not any of those things because you can't do that stuff on YouTube, right? So, that's what we got going on. Going to be putting old Ford to work. And uh, before I can do that, I got to run town. But we definitely thank y'all. I'm going to go finish some coffee, go get some breakfast in me. Uh, I actually got up early this morning. Dang, roosters. They, they crow like right around 6 o'clock. <laughs> uh, so, it, it gets a little hard to, to sleep after that. But, all right, y'all. We definitely thank you guys for falling in on our journeys. It's greatly appreciated. Just know that we're getting the work. We're still keeping busy around here. And that's, yeah, yeah, you understand. I, I know you understand. So definitely get out there. Thank a veteran every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day. We'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.